Hickok 45 with a little more history from the compound or Hickok 45 history. Uh, so something else that you might not care anything about, but you're going to hear it anyway. Now, actually, this is a tree, if you didn't notice. Okay, we're deep, deep back into the compound. All right. And this is a tree, specifically, it's a dead tree. More specifically, it's a dead poplar tree. Okay. And this tree has some significance, believe it or not. You see how it, it has always looked like this, pretty much. Uh, group kind of crooked. And uh, this is a tree that John and I used to sit on when he was a little guy. I remember even hiking, carrying him over here. And I would sit down here. I don't really necessarily want to go. Well, I've got ammo in my back pocket. <laughs> but I would sit there and, and lean against the back. And he'd crawl up in my lap and would sit there after we had hiked over here most of the time he was walking too you know uh but i think the first time i don't know he might have been two or three or something but uh, and he'd get tired and i'd carry him but this was our resting tree so this this is kind of at the end near the end of the compound of one of the long trails and so we would hike over here all the time and ride the tractor too but we'd hike over here more often and we'd always stop at the resting tree as we called it and uh, had it carved on the side down there, long gone in the bark, back when it had bark. And uh, we'd take a rest and sit here and just enjoy nature and talk about how uh, John was going to prepare to be a gunman when he got big, right? <laughs> now we'd sit here and uh, take a rest, then we'd get up and go, go back. And he would also drive a tractor down this trail where John's standing. And uh, John, was, I told you about the tractor rides, if you saw the the history video about the tractor he always wanted to go on a tractor ride too and so he would be sitting in my lap on the tractor or on the fender as he got older and we'd ride down through here and and he'd always hey the resting tree you know we'd always point out the resting tree so this was the resting tree I, it died about eight or ten years ago i noticed and uh of course it's deteriorating it hasn't fallen yet but i uh, thought we'd show it to you knew you were desperately interested in it uh you know before it's gone so this was a pretty cool spot where we would rest on all of our hikes and we took a lot of hikes and uh took a rest here and it always didn't look like this of course it was a live you know lively tree for uh, all those years until something got to it uh, whatever that was but this is a uh significant poplar in uh, the history of the compound thought you would just really want to see it okay and you see it's got a neat seat it had a good seat there so it worked out pretty well and uh we'll give you a quiz over this tree one day but anyway we appreciate you coming into the woods with us here and taking a look at this this old resting tree that meant a lot to us and uh we appreciate you watching we appreciate the sponsors here on the hickok 45 and sun channel uh, SDI, the Sonoran Desert Institute, and Federal Premium for all they do for us too. So I uh, hope you support both of those companies, and we appreciate you coming by. Hickok 45 is signing off. Life is good.